street flooding like this could be getting worse unless big changes are made at San Diego City Hall. We're talking over 50 years to replace uh, this uh, asbestos pipe. Water and sewer pipes all over the city are reaching a critical stage, and tonight a new problem has been identified. New at 6, 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina shows us how overwhelming this project is in terms of both money and time. Looking over my shoulder, you can see what's involved in trenching out just a couple of blocks of City Street. Now imagine the time and expense of 2,100 miles. Water main and pipe breaks have become a fact of life for the San Diego infrastructure reaching old age. This Mission Beach flood in April forced the closure of Mission Boulevard and several businesses. It brought the water up to all the storefronts and people couldn't actually use the walking you know, the sidewalk, so no one could come in. You could kayak or try your luck with a bicycle. The water was ankle deep and more. This break last year in North Park buckled the street and flooded several apartments. The San Diego County Grand Jury issued a warning about 2,100 miles of asbestos cement pipe that is worn out. The city needs to reprioritize and uh, appropriate more funds to accelerate the uh, replacement of these pipes. Mayor Kevin Faulkner has been pushing for infrastructure renewal for years. I'm never surprised at the backlog of infrastructure because of what the city did not do and should have been doing literally for decades. Condition assessment of pipes, streets and sidewalks is already underway. The project downtown is the replacement of old six inch clay pipe with 10 inch PVC. Just a glimpse of what's ahead. This problem is at least two or three billion dollars large. And when you understand that our city's general fund budget is 1.2 billion, you understand how difficult it's going to be to uh, meet all of our obligations to our neighborhood infrastructure with our current financing. The timetable is daunting too. Even at 40 miles a year, we're talking over 50 years to replace uh, this uh, asbestos pipe. And no neighborhood is immune. If this is the case for all around San Diego, there's going to be a lot of economic hardship. You know, one day for a small business like this can mean a lot. Steve Fiorina, 10 News. And like Steve just reported, there are 2,100 miles of additional underground pipes in San Diego that still need to be replaced. To get an idea of just how big that project would be, it would be like driving all the way from San Diego to Nashville, Tennessee.